And good day. Today I thought we'd have a look at all these little bits and pieces. These are all accessories that I've got for the Femi X8 SE 2020 edition. So quite a few little bits and pieces here. Uh, we'll start off with the gimbal cover. If you buy one item only, this is the thing I recommend. It's really good. It fits beautifully on the gimbal. Just simply uh, snaps in, pop it in and that's it, it's in place and that protects the gimbal from damage while it's being moved around. Uh, of course I also have a, uh, a bag over the back here but uh, I'll talk about that later. So I just want to show you a few of the things that we've got and uh, we'll go through them. Gimbal cover I've already explained, we've got some uh, filters, I've got a car charger which is quite good, that's a twin battery car charger, some spare propellers, probably never need them but I've got some anyway. Got these too, these little silicon uh, motor covers, they're quite handy. And of course we've got an anometer here which is handy for telling the wind conditions and temperature. And this is another cable which uh, goes with a charger that I've got, that'll be a separate video on that one. So that's just a few little items there for you to have a quick look at. One other thing that uh, I should have mentioned is one of these. This is a reversible cable, if you've never seen one before, they are absolutely brilliant. You can grab your controller and uh, you know what it's like when you sort of plug your little plug in there, you think, oh, have I got it around the right way? Well, with this one, we'll pull it out, turn it 180 degrees, makes absolutely no difference. It goes in both ways. So that is a real little time saver. And the beauty of it, of course, it's um, you can do your phone and other bits and pieces with it. And the same with this end here. So you can turn that 180 degrees. It makes no difference which way it goes into your USB port or into your... Um, unit at the other end that you're charging so yeah brilliant great little idea I'll have a link down below for anyone that's interested in buying one of these things so these are the little motor caps these are nice and soft they're silicon they fit beautifully over the top of the motors protect it from dust and dirt and grime and water and God knows what getting into them they fold up quite nicely as you can see So that's something I do recommend, they're quite good. The next thing you need to have, of course, are propellers. A couple of spares, always handy to have. Uh, never go astray, I'll put them aside. I've decided to get some black ones, these are original. Don't bother buying the cheaper, you know, knockoff brands. They're a waste of time, keep with original. You won't have any issues with them. Now we come to this thing, an anemeter. This is a, a brilliant little device. There's, look, there's dozens of different types on the market. I chose this one because it's nice and handy comes with a case and you can just simply you know pop it away current temperature in the house is 18.9 at the moment there's nothing showing on the wind Give it a bit of a blow there so you can actually see it works so it's a way of um, testing ground wind speed and temperatures to see whether it's suitable for flying absolutely brilliant little idea and it just snaps over the top fits in your backpack beautifully that is a an item. If you can afford one, grab it. You won't regret it. And I've got hold of uh, some JSR filters and uh, that's them in the pack here. I did not intend to buy this. So I actually made a mistake when I was ordering. I only meant to buy a ND16, an ND4 and a uh, CPL, which is circular polarized lens. That's all I intended to buy. But I clicked um, what I thought was the right link. Next thing I know, I've ordered this and bought it. So eh, we'll have to do a video on it and see how they go. Uh, next time you see this package, it will have uh, numbers written beside the actual little holes here. So I know what the particular lenses are. One of them is the star uh, lens, which is interesting. That's a nighttime lens. So I'll see how I can uh, use that. We'll try and keep it legal because we're not allowed to fly at night it's against rules and regulations but I think I can get up a ladder and uh, point it in the direction and uh, you'll get the image and uh, you'll see what it's like if you like my videos please click the subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you don't like my videos give it a thumbs down either way doesn't matter as long as you leave a comment all the best till next time take care